When we say ATLs, we're talking about the approaches to teaching and learning. This language comes from the IB. We're just going to focus on the learning side of things today. And you're going to get in a moment when you fill out your first ATL reflection, you'll have some of that language that you might have seen on the posters around school or learned in your classes about the different categories of approaching to learning. But before we get into that, what I think really helps is to just look at the five categories. And when we look at those five categories of the approaches to learning, you can boil it down to saying, these are the skills that you need to learn well, to work with others, and to understand who you are. Now, we can get even more specific. We want you to focus on the ATLs because these are factors that you can control. Also, they increase your ability to do well in any subject in school. We also wanna look at what employers are looking for. And the IB, as well as FIS and all kinds of other studies have gone and asked employers, what, what are you looking for when you hire someone? And we also think about the fact that most of the jobs or many of the jobs that you're going to have don't exist yet. So how do we prepare you for that? Well, we prepare you for that by thinking about the type of person that is hireable and that people wanna be around and work with. These are the six skills that come up again and again from employers that they say are very, very valuable. And you might look at those skills and say to yourself, that sounds a lot like the IB learner profile, and you'd be absolutely correct to make that connection. The ATLs are skills or ways of breaking down. How do we produce learners that distribute or that exhibit those traits? We also know that your job right now is being in school. And if you're better at that job, you feel better when you're good at learning. Also, understanding yourself helps you work well with others. We also know that an agile learner, learner someone who can thrive in an ever-changing world, hey, by the way, the world is changing, have you noticed? And it can be really stressful when we're asked to pivot and to do something in a new mode and in a new way. But if you're a really skillful and reflective learner, you're able to do that. And so that's why we're focused on the ATLs. And lastly, Really, we consider this to be the skills that you need in life as you move beyond school. What is it that you need to develop as yourself to help and work with others? And that's really why we're focused on the ATLs or approaches to learning. It's your job now.